Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Tomasz and today we will talk about the pendulum action in quick step. Enjoy! Let's start with just showing what pendulum action is so we all know what we're talking about. So this one is a pendulum action. It can be done in close position and it can be done in prominent position and we'll go through both of those versions. Let's first go through the pendulum action in close position. That's the simplest one. So we'll start with that. Now in here we will divide our actions in two. First we will talk about the standing leg and then we'll talk about the moving leg. The best way to describe what happens in the standing leg is to rewatch our video about the hopping in quick step because we went there through how to jump on one leg. And of course we can do that with the slow rhythm or we can do that with the, in the quick rhythm. And of course we covered both of those. The link will be in the description below. And that is exactly what we are doing in pendulum action. So our standing leg is responsible for absorbing our weight to giving the tempo of the hopping up and down and from physically keeping our posture upright. If our leg or foot or knee or ankle is too weak, the whole posture and top line will start shaking like a jello, which we obviously don't want. So as simple as it is, we should just try to be able to jump on one leg up and down. And again, in a slow tempo, we have to use our knees and ankles, both of them. And in the quick rhythm, we should just use the ankle joint without too much usage of the knee action. Now let's go to the moving leg. Now the moving leg is the one that actually makes it a pendulum action. So what has to happen, and I will just switch off for now the standing leg, will be extending the foot to the side and closing it back in. Now our leg should be as long and straight as possible. It doesn't mean that the knee should be straight, but I would try to avoid lines like that. Our feet should be still parallel to each other, which means that during the pendulum action, I shouldn't turn the foot out. I should keep it parallel to the floor and I should only move the foot to the side as much as I can keep my hips parallel. So for example, that would be too much or that would be too much, right? Because clearly you see that I had to change the level of my hips in order to move my foot to the side or I had to break my body in order to do that. The minimum extension to the side is when the leg is just straight and still on the floor, right? So you can see that my leg is super long and my big toe is on, touching the floor. And of course I can lift the leg slightly up, but again, only as much as I can keep my hips parallel to the floor. Some of you might be able to lift it to the 90 degree angle and that's perfectly fine. Some of you will not be able to lift it from the floor, which is also fine. What is the most important is that we adjust it to our capabilities and our partners, because in the end we have to be lifting both of our legs at the same height. So if I can do it until here and my partner can only do it until here, then we have to go with my partner's height. So now, how do we connect both the moving leg and standing leg? Very easy. So now, during the lowering action, so relaxation of our ankle or knee and ankle, we'll be extending the foot to the side. Now, during the rise, we'll be closing it together and changing the way to do it on the other foot if we need it. Sometimes we can do it, hop twice on the same leg or twice on the other leg, right? Now, if I want to do it on the other leg, so now I changed my weight, and again, during the lowering, I will be extending my foot. During the rise, I will be closing the foot together. Now, it's much easier to coordinate when we do it slowly. So just make sure you start like that. Of course, when you do it in quick rhythm and we don't have so much knee usage, you won't have such a big rise and fall difference. Therefore, you have to do it very quickly and without too much rise and fall. Now to fit it exactly to the music, we have to make sure how to time it together. So now our foot should be with the maximum extension to the side exactly when the music hits the beat on quick, right? So it will be quick, 
quick, quick, quick, quick, quick, quick, quick. Now, of course, the same will happen when we time it to slow rhythm, right? So exactly when the music says slow, that's when the foot is extended. So of course the foot will be extending slower. So let's do it now. And slow, 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 slow. Please notice that in the slow version, our leg is extending slower on the outside and then it's being collected quicker towards each other. So it's not even, it's not quick, 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 quick. It's slow and slow and slow and slow and slow and slow. Now as an exercise, just try to focus on your legs. I know that you can add some shapes and sway in those pendulum actions, but at the moment, let's just try not to do it and focus on the legs. The next thing, when you do pendulum action, it's super important to make sure that your legs are going exactly to the side. So if you imagine that the wall is behind me, my legs will be touching that wall on both sides. It's very easy to be unprecise when there is no wall and let your leg go somewhere diagonally. But you can imagine that in that situation, if your leg goes too much forward, you will kick your partner because they will be extending the legs sideways as well. So, so it's super important that when you do it, your leg goes exactly to the side on the same line as your foot and we don't cross the line either forward or backward. Now let's go to the promenade position. In pendulum in promenade position, pretty much everything will be the same, but we have to be aware of the angle between us because it will be very easy to kill each other. So if you imagine that my partner is in front of me, right? If I do pendulum sideways, it's very easy. Our feet are just going sideways. But if I am in promenade and my feet are on a, at an angle, if I go, if I go sideways, well, my right leg will definitely kick my partner. My left leg, not so much. But in, the, in that way, I will be kicked by my partner, right? Uh, if I kick forward backward, well, again, in that kick, we will both kick each other because my partner will be doing the same thing. So what is the answer? Is we have to keep our legs parallel to the wall that is in between us. So if here's my partner and there's a wall in between us here, I will turn myself to promenade, right? But kick my legs and swing my legs exactly underneath my elbows. So my left foot will go underneath my front elbow and my right foot will go underneath my back elbow. Now, the last thing before we finish is remember that in all those pendulums, we have to have the hips parallel to the floor because that will make it much easier for us to keep the frame perfectly still. And that's in the end of the day, the result we want to get. We want to get very dynamic legs with the very clear timing, but we want to still look very elegant and effortless with the upper part. The last thing you want to see on the competition is when somebody is doing pendulum and everything is jumping up and down and there is no control. In that case, sometimes it's better to take the pendulum out of your routine, learn it, and then do it on the competitions. Remember that your routines have to play into your advantage and the judge cannot judge something that you're not dancing. They can only judge what you are dancing. So please make sure that you're only showing your strong points without showing the weak points that are unnecessary to show in the first place. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. As always, if you liked it and enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you have any comment, please put it in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one.